As a homework, I prepared two validators. And in both cases, you have to do the same. First, you have to figure out what the validator does. And of course, you have all the tools we've been using so far available to you. You can use tests, you can read the source code, and you can see previous validators. And with that, you should have enough to know what the validator does. And once you figure that out, you have to write the off-chain code necessary to cover all possible interactions with the validator using the tool of your choosing. As I said before, both validators ask you to do the same. The difference is that one is not parameterized and the other is. If you happen to have any questions, we'll be waiting for you at Discord or Stack Exchange.